what would you say to people in Cardiff who don't know anything about Palestine? What would you want them to know? Well, honestly, first of all, I wouldn't blame them as much because um, for me as well, when I read the news, it's what's in the newspapers or the news sources that I look at. Um, but if I were to say something is when they hear about it is to like read more, maybe um, look at different sources. And if they know people from that, from Palestine, for example, like ask them more because usually it's not what the um, the media says about conflicts, and that's in general. It's not only about Palestine. Usually, when there's a war or a political conflict or a, a religious conflict, every media outlet has an agenda. I think, and um, yeah, so it's it's always better to ask people and not generalize um, things about conflicts. You studied in America for a period. Where did you live? Yeah. I lived in Denver, Colorado. I've been there. Yeah, yeah majority of people are white. Um, mm. There what? were also a lot of, um, a lot of snow. <laughs> yeah, a lot of snow. <laughs> and the interesting is um, the high school that I went to had also um, a lot of Jewish students, which was interesting because, you know, the first time you meet someone and you're like, I'm Palestinian, and they would just tell me, like, I'm a Jew. I'm like, okay, like, I don't have anything against you. You don't have to tell me that you're Jewish. It's not. For me, it's not a religious conflict, even though some people say that it is a religious conflict, but it's actually not. So at the beginning, it was kind of difficult because, um, especially in America, it's it's really, um, it's different than in the UK. I feel like in the UK, people at least have a better understanding of the conflict and they hear about it more. I mean, I can't blame the people in America, but they are more definitely, um, sorry, they are definitely less informed about the conflict. So it was kind of hard at the beginning because every time they hear that I'm Palestinian, they would be like, um, I don't know, mm -hmm. because they would feel like I would be like some kind of an extremist mm -hmm. or something. But um, after three years, it's just, like when people get to know you and talk to you it's um they would start to realize that you're just a person like a normal person like yeah that.